Right, over the years I've noticed on my MyFred ML7 that I've been getting um, quite a bit of chatter when I've been turning, or vibration when I've been turning, and i found that it's only when I use the large diameter Sanu chucks, which I've bought for the lathe, and this is due to um, being too heavy and too much overhang. And there's been much debate over the years um, whether these 125mm chucks um, are good to use on the Myfin ML7. In this video I'm going to show you some tests I did with the 125mm uh, chuck and the 4-inch uh, chuck. This is a 5-inch chuck, this is a 4-inch chuck. And show you the results um, of doing those tests. I'm really pleased to have found out the problem because I thought it was um, just the spindle or something like that, the bearing or something like that. I've done loads of tests over the years um, to try and find out what was going on and it actually dawned on me in the end it was only when I was using these 125mm chucks. So now I'll go out into the workshop and show you the tests that I did. Um, using these chucks and um, I'd be very interested um, if you watch this video whether any of you out there have had the same problems with larger diameter chucks whether you get um, vibration on turning when you're doing deep cuts or whatever I found that um, I can only um, do uh, smaller cuts with the 125mm chuck and now I'm going to just use my 4 inch chuck whenever um, possible which is recommended for the lathe rather than using these ones with a lot of overhang not only the overhang but the actual weight of these chucks like I say there's been much debate over the years whether they're good to put, use on the Myford ML7 and this video will prove well for my lathe anyway it's best to use the 4 inch chuck wherever possible or the um, 125 millimeter chucks all right if you're using it for various different operations like with the um, live center so now i'll go out into the workshop and show you the various tests and a bit of turning on both chucks so the first test i do on the myford is the radial free play of the main bearing on the spindle so I've set it up like this with a bar going up inside the spindle and a clock on the outer diameter. And then when I lift that bar and push it down, I get about one thou movement of free play on that bearing. So that's good. And that's with the um, lathe cold. So next I put the 4 inch chuck on and I've um, thoroughly cleaned the threads of the spindle and the chuck and then put a bar up inside the chuck there and tighten that up so now when I lift that one and push it down I'm getting just over a thou, a thou and a half at that position take into consideration the overhang and I'll get about two thou on that distance And then the third test I do is on the 125mm chuck.
and obviously the overhang is a lot more now and uh, when I push and pull that one I'm getting about seven thou in that position two and a half thou in that position and that's obviously what's causing the chatter when I'm turning with the 125 millimeter chuck so obviously these tests are done with the lathes cold but when it's warmed up a bit the movement might be um, restricted a bit with the expansion of the metal surfaces but now I'll just show you an example of turning a piece of aluminium and I'll do a fairly big cut on that one and see what it goes like with the 125mm chuck And you can hear there the vibration on that cut. That's about 50 to 60 cell cut. So that last cut was 110 thou overall and you could hear it chattering there with that one and now I'm going to put up the 4 inch chuck and test that one. And you see there that there was such a deep cut that um, it actually stopped the spindle and that's because the belt was slipping but I'm about 120, 120 thou or something like that overall.
I just do that by hand now, rather than on the feed. But I can take nice big cuts with that one. Like you see there, that's about 100 thou. And no vibration at all. So it's producing an excellent finish. Even at that depth. So I think it's best to use the 4 inch chuck wherever possible, it's best to actually keep to the one that's recommended for the MyFerd. And I'd be very interested to know anyone else's experience with the 125mm chucks on the um, Myford ML7. I have a 130mm one as well and that's the same with the overhang and the same sort of movement. Um, I'm not sure whether there's movement at all on the thread but I think it's just the overhang that's causing that doubled up or trebled up with the distance. 